So to change the admin password, we're going to have to click on the more button, then go to settings so that we can get to the admin interface in Windows. We'll punch in the administrator password here and then click on Windows settings. Now I'm going to click on administrator down here and go ahead and sign in again with that default password. Now the first way I'm going to show you how to do this is kind of the simple way. So I'm going to right click on the start button and select computer management right here. And that will bring up the computer management for this workstation. And in here we see this local users and groups. So I'll expand that, go to users, and there's the admin account that is created for Teams Rooms. This is the built-in administrator account, this one here, that's one that comes with Windows. It is one of those best practices that you should disable this because it is a known account, a known username. So it's something that people could try to attack. So in this case, a new account has been created called admin. So I'm just gonna right click, set password, and then proceed, and then enter the new password. And I click OK, and my password has now been changed. So now this Teams room system is much more secure than it was because it doesn't have that default password. Now if you wanted to do this via PowerShell, we can do that too, uh, which is a lot easier if you're deploying a lot of machines. You can have a script and make it a little easier than having to go through these manual steps. So I'm going to right click on the Start menu and pick Windows PowerShell Admin. And then it's going to prompt me to accept the admin changes or to sign in as an admin. And then I've got some PowerShell commands here. Dollar sign password, read host as secure string. That is a way for me to type in the password so no one can see it. Then we're going to get the user account for admin and store that in a variable. And then we'll set the password onto that user account. So let's run this first command here and see what happens. So I typed in the password, just a bunch of stars, so anybody looking over your shoulder can't see what that is. And that is now saved in dollar sign password. Now we can take the second command, which grabs that admin account, and then finally we can run this command to set the password. And that's how we can change the password on a local account using PowerShell. So you could script this and maybe make it a little easier than clicking around.